Now, Eyewitness News digging deeper into the plan revealed in last night's budget address by Governor Gina Raimondo. We do need to cut. We need to cut in the areas where we spend too much or where we're inefficient, and then we need to invest in economic growth. Now, despite agreeing that we need to make spending cuts, the governor has a big spending idea for education. Three years ago, Rhode Island lawmakers voted to freeze spending on school construction projects. And last fall, the Target 12 investigators found $600 million and backlog improvements have built up as a result. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright joins us now with more on the plan to repair schools. The governor is proposing millions of dollars in state funding for school construction projects, but some education advocates say her plan doesn't go far enough. It's an announcement that drew generous applause. I believe the time has come to lift the moratorium on school construction. <laughs> governor Gina Raimondo proposing to lift the five-year suspension on state-funded school construction projects. By doing this, we're going to put our kids in better schools and we're going to put construction crews to work, some of whom who haven't seen steady work in years. Under the governor's plan, $20 million would be available for new projects that previously couldn't get state funding, like getting new seats for a school auditorium or creating Wi-Fi access. That's on top of about $71 million the governor has set aside for older projects. Students will benefit to the extent that uh, the classrooms will be in the 21st century as opposed to what arguably some of them are in the 19th century. Education advocate Tim Duffy says under the moratorium, only projects related to the health and safety of students, like failing roofs, can get state funding. Although he welcomes the governor's plan, he urges caution. It's not a complete lifting of the moratorium, but it's moving in a, in a different direction, a more progressive direction in terms of being able to fund it. Eyewitness News has been tracking this issue for years. Last year, we reported the Rhode Island Department of Education's public schoolhouse assessment estimated it would take $1.8 billion to bring all schools in the state up to good condition. Duffy says with 36 school districts across the state and more than 200 buildings, 20 million bucks won't go far. Providence alone probably has needs in excess of $100 million. Duffy says the projects will need to be prioritized. The more we invest in education, um, including the infrastructure, uh, the better the economy is going to be in the long run. Duffy says he hopes the $20 million in proposed funding the first year turns to 30 or $40 million the next year. In the newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.